All right, welcome. Welcome to part, uh, I think we're on about part three here of our playthrough of the Dread X Collection. Part two, continuing on, uh, checking out some weird indie experimental horror games. Kind of following up on the month of October, and now into November. The spookiness doesn't end here. We don't, we don't stop being spooky on November 1st. In fact, that's where we're just getting started. So let's go ahead and open up, uh, open up our game here and we just uh, finished the first game in this second of the Dread X collection games, which are sort of, um, I guess as the name implies, collections of uh, some, you know, kind of small uh, lo-fi indie horror games. And um, this one's kind of set up cool. You're, you're in this uh, creepy mansion and you uh, kind of walk around in the mansion and solve little puzzles to get keys, which open up these locked boxes that have VHS tapes inside, and that's how you play the game. So uh, I, I, I got to check this one out. Sucker for Love. That sounds good. Oh, here we go. Sucker for Love by Akabaka. Akabaka. I like that name. Win the heart of an eldritch whore and smooch her at any cost. All right, let's do it. I like the sound of that. Uh, we talk a lot about smooching in this household because we have a little three-year-old boy, Oliver, and he just loves getting smooches from his mom and daddy. Um, maybe that's TMI. I don't know. All right. Press inventory to view. So, uh, oh, body parts. Clotted blood hangs to this limp, cold thing. We got a second comic book page. It's kind of neat. We're sort of assembling a comic here. Okay, creepy. All right, let's play some Sucker for Love. Okay, cool. This, and then we can scroll through these menus. This is great. It's a kind of a cool system. I like that the uh, preview shows up on the TV screen there. So let's put this uh, tape in. Give her a play. I think it's loading, if I remember right. Oh, I heard a noise. Wait, do I need to press escape? Here we go. Oh, it's open. Okay, it just opened in another, it opened in another window. Oh, okay, probably because it's uh, uh it's tiny. Oh. Okay, looks like we have some graphic themes. We on this channel are a fan of graphic themes. Okay, oh, oh, let's go full screen. No, it's big. Okay. All right, let's play. It's kind of got a visual novel vibe to it. Eldritch God, Eldritch Gods, Cosmic Horrors, Things Beyond Our Understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the Deep Ones wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Aligned for love. Damn it. Come on already. Same day shipping my ass. Look at this guy's room. Or lady. I don't know. We might be a lady. Uh, got <laughs> this pretty... Awesome Cthulhu mask, a sacrificial dagger, nice uh, poster you picked up at Hot Topic, and a turtle, a pet turtle. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me, N Nieta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I got really wrapped up in the occult, dumped paycheck after paycheck on trinkets and spell books to no avail. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I just can't help myself. Something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. 
I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. Ooh, what is it? The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing. But as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon. An ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the other gods. So I bought a copy of the Necronomicon from Barnes & Noble when I was in high school. And my friend John and I read it. And uh, we were going to try to cast some of the spells. So I totally feel this. This is speaking to me. Finally, all. Wait a minute. Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be like brown and bigger and bound in human flesh? It's supposed to be an ancient book or something. But this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. I got scammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No, I'm getting my money back either. Scammer's probably long gone, too. Damn it, I need a new hobby, seriously. What a strange scam, though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. They really think nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu pink. Wait, is this symbol on the front? Embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilded in gold, too, huh? It's a nice book. And this weight. Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? The plot is thickening here. Maybe I'll take a look inside. All right, here we go. What do we see? Uh, take the sacrificial dagger. I'm gonna, definitely going to wear that. going to definitely wear that, too. Okay. Oh, okay. Anything... Okay, draw the secret symbols. I like these noises. Anything secret? Alright, let's see. Lights are off and on. Water. What did I get? Oops. What is that? Oops, did I just eat that? Okay, sure. Okay, here we go. Objective. Perform the calling ritual. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room in your room. This means draw your curtains. Turn off your bedside lamp. Turn off your overhead lights. In the dark, light red, foul candle, red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When all is complete, chant. Okay. Click and drag from the first letter. Okay. All right. That's kind of cool. This uh, look like Sudoku. I hope I don't have to play Sudoku. I'm really bad at it. Okay, I can't understand. Never leave the lights off. Good advice. Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name. Do not cover your ears. You will need them. Okay. Nothing is just your imagination. And there we go. All right. Okay, so we need to turn off all the lights. Okay. And then it said to light the well let's, let's see here. Let's see if we can read this again. Okay. Turn off overhead lights. Turn off bedside lamp, draw your curtains. In the dark, light red, red fire candles. Find your necklace and then chant. Okay. Oops. All right. Oh, hello. Wow. Hello, hello, my lady. But she's hot. Frozen and horniness, more like it. I can't talk, I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice end. Looking down. No. I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. Can't perish now. Did the dark one, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? Give up your spare from the cataclysm, I 
No, I kind of want to pinch your boobies. I want to smooch you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, how embarrassing. I want to... <laughs> I'm getting, I'm being driven mad. I'm mad with lust. Huh? You just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? Remember when the stars are only a thousand here? Okay. But I'll be long dead by then. No, well, she doesn't like me yet. I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is. Yeah, that's right. Check that book out. Huh? What, this? I bought it online. I know, I know. Funny looking Necronomicon, right? Necronomicon. Oh, what is it? It's not? Is right, uh, good question. She is. It's cute. What's with the sudden personality change? Mm, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? For what? Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. I struck gold. Would have paid double for this. What'd she just say? Protect my sanity. I mean, sounds like dating in general. with sex. Oh, I understand where you're getting at. I'm going to put my thang up in those tentacles. You'll let me smooch you? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Will you spare the world if I win the kiss? Okay. Well. Yes, that's true. Die or die without getting a kiss. I'm getting that kiss. Deal. Let's begin the date, then. Okay. Why don't you start with the invoke the depths ritual? Okay. Sounds good. Let's see. The calling. Invoke the depths. Do not perform this ritual alone. Okay. Snuff all. I'm not alone. I got my, my Octobabe with me. Snuff all light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. When all is complete, chant. Do not look out your window from now on. Okay. So, we got to make sure we turn out the lights. And turn on water. Right? Snuff all light. Turn on sink or shower. When all is complete, chant. Uh, what did I just do? Hmm. Nope, sorry. I keep skipping her dialogue. I like to hear her uh, voice acting. I'm stronger my influence on you and this world. That sounds good. No problem. I can do that. Alright, All right. what's next? I'm just worried I won't get that smooch. You're dang right you are. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, perform metamorphosis. Alright, let's see. What's metamorphosis? Metamorphosis. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoke the depths. Okay? If you see or hear something strange, it is not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Okay. I'm going to turn off this water because it's annoying me. All right. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh... I guess that's not an image, it's a mask, so that should be okay. Continued on the next page. 
Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your future features. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Always remember the second step on the previous page. Uh oh, this is gonna get complicated. All right, no. This is a point of no return, Scott. Oh, how's it know my name? All right, it's kind of freaking me out. Uh, I always remember the second step on the previous page when all is complete. Chant. Okay, so. We need our robe, our necklace, we need to wear a mask, we need our knife. We have the knife. Get that. Get that. Let me make sure. Okay, got my robe, got my pendant. I think that should be about everything. I always remember the second step. Okay. Let's do it. Let's chant. Ooh. Oh man, I got a tentacle hand now. What? <laughs> yeah, I am. Check this thing out. It goes all the way up. Uh oh. Statue's bleeding. Okay. Perform, prepare offering. Let's check that out. Whoops. No oh, shit, what do I do? No, I'm just going to put everything back just so I can... Oh shit, I have a... Uh, I actually have a squid head now. Alright. Let's see. Perform, prepare, offering. This ritual was... Oh! I was just reading reading a book. Yeah. Kind of looking at my tentacle hands. Well, Did I scare you, darling? a little bit. Good. I know what you want. And to help you find the princess play about nothing, you will have to step in blood. Okie dokie. Um, what if I, what if I like, go over here where you can't really see me? This ritual will sever your connection, restore your sanity, and return you to reality in whatever state it is. Let the room be well lit. A little lit. Blah. Ensure the symbol is present nearby. Chant three times assertively. Okay. That's the... Do we have what other... Okay, so that... Okay. I thought I was looking at... A good thing I didn't perform that ritual. I don't want to... I don't want to break up. I'm, I'm into this. This is like a dream come true. Uh, finally dating a squid. The the forbidden love. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Ensure the symbol is present nearby. And chant. Okay, easy enough. So we need to make that symbol. We need to get some the stuff out of the fridge. Oh, I missed it. There, that was it, right? Yep. Okay, let's get the, uh... oh, it said ensure, oops, oh, shit, I forgot I wasn't supposed to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Bad ending. Okay. All right. Let's see, where was I? All right, I have to do metamorphosis again. All right. All right. Uh, da -da -da. Proceed in total darkness, no lights, no candles. Get rid of his image. Put on the necklace of the mask and the ceremonial knife. And chant. So get rid of this. Get the knife. Get the mask. Get the robe. Right? And necklace. Okay. Okay. So if any person always remember the second uh, okay. Is this the one I needed running water for? No, okay. Total light, no candles. Get rid of the tapestry. Wear the necklace, wear the robe, wear a mask, have a ceremony nice, and chant. Oops, too fast. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> There we go, okay. Got my tentacle hands. Alright. See what we find here. She'll yell at me about this. 
All right, well, uh, maybe not because we already did that. Oh, there she goes. Yep. Yeah, I totally forgot. Can't can't look out the window. They told me that before. All right. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Ensure the symbol is present nearby. Enchant. Okay. Let's get the symbol. There we go. Uh, turn on a light. That sounds pretty good. Get the stuff out of the fridge. If I have the eye. Yep. Okay. And then let's chant. I like that my mouth is all gray now. Kind of wish it looked like a squid mouth, though. Yep. No problem. What could it be? See you in a few. Okay. Now what? Reach into oblivion. Wear a ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife. Ensure the symbol is present. Have another life form on your person. Okay. I guess we can do that. Because we can sacrifice our turtle here. Yeah. And make sure the... Uh, Oops. Oops. Gotta make sure that we draw the right symbol. Oh, no! God damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Okay. I gotta be careful not to click on that window. Alright, we want that. Take the turtle. All right, we don't want to don't want to break up with her. Ceremony robe, have a ritual knife, ensure the symbol is present, have a life form on your person, and chant. I think we got all that. Oh no, we didn't. We got to get on our no a robe and our knife. Good thing I just had all this stuff already. All right, let's sacrifice. Sorry, turtle. I feel kind of bad for this turtle, but what are you going to do? Okay. I did good, right? Her name, her name, her name, her name, her name. Oh, no, there's a dead turtle in there now. Oh, man. Sorry. What is it? Bloody cake. Okay. Are there any other? Any other rituals I can do? Ah! Oh! Hi! What was that? You. Escape reality. If you can read this, all reality is doomed. Once you start the search, you'll complete all three pages quickly. You will be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff any existing lights, or you'll attract their attention. Okay. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. All right. Turn off all the lights. Uh, we want that squiggly symbol. Okay, let's uh, let's try it. No, no, a tentacle. She's coming. Ensure this symbol is present nearby and chant. Okay. Okay, ensure this symbol is present. Repeat the chant until you believe you are safe. Okay. That's not it. 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 That's it. All right. Let 
Oh no, I went too fast because I'm getting kind of nervous. I'm getting spooked. I should be trying to say this, shouldn't I? Yi, Yiming, Uriel, Hazen, so ah, Mig, 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 Bug, 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 Hey! Well, things got a little freaky. Yeah, I did. I saw what's going on. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of creepy. Might not be a bad idea. Honestly, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Uh... All right, well, what do we got here? Dark communion. Do not attempt this ritual without performing, prepare offering, and reach into oblivion. I've done those things. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklace. Have the offering on your person and chant. Okay. Room is well lit. Put on some candles, too. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, shit. What did I do? Ah, did I look outside again? God damn it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I don't know. The candles might not be a good thing. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Let's see. Perform Dark Communion. Escape reality. Okay. Prepare offering. Reach into oblivion. Okay. Wear no robes, no necklace, and have the offering on your person. Okay. Uh, all right. I got I got you some cake. I got some cake. Here. Niflogathan ungil atrilietning ungil muffil. That's right. I mean, we can arrange that. You got it. Yeah, worth it. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of into it. Oops, I keep clicking through that stuff. Saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Eh, not really. <laughs> Have you seen the world? Sure thing. You got it. You got it, baby. No problem. All right. Perform one last ritual. So I guess here I can do a choice. So chant five times to fill the heart. I'm that's I'm I'm going for it. I mean, fuck, I'm not playing this game to save humanity. Have the ritual knife. I can get the ritual knife. All right, here we go. About to uh, take the final pledge. I wonder if these are actually lines from the Necronomicon. Oop. I'm stabbing myself. I wonder where. I think we all know. I think we all know where that knife's going if we think about it hard enough.
There we go. Yay, we did it. Thank you. I feel pretty good about it. I better get that smooch, though. Thank you. So why the scream? And all of the others? Why not just stay here with me? Mm -hmm. Look busy here. Don't Not really. I just kind of want to see what it's like to kiss an octopus. All these sweet, mortal darlings. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Hmm. Yeah, kind of making sense. Oh, it's happening. Oh, man. My tentacles are shaking. Smooch! Oh, yeah. Hey, oh. All right. <laughs> I like it. Erotic. Good thing the stream's uh, going on after dark because things are getting things are getting nasty. Okay. All right. Well, that's fun. All right. Let's see what's next. Oh. Hmm. All right, let's see. What else we got here? What's this? Toy shop. The toy shop. What do you do when you can't trust what you see, hear, or touch? Do you take your fate in your own hands or play in someone else's story? All right, let's check it out. All right. Let's, uh, let's play the toy shop. Oops. Okay, I can see it launching the Unreal Engine here. Okay. Ooh, all right. Now we're we're getting into some some spooky stuff for real. All right, what kind of settings do we have? Oh, we got to bump that resolution up. We'll go full screen. Okay. All right, gamma resolution scale, epic, 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 epic. Got to have all that bloom input. Ooh, we can use a gamepad. Good, I like that. I prefer, I prefer to play with a gamepad if I can. Can I? The big question though, can I invert the look? Uh, we don't know yet. Probably, probably not. But that's okay. I can deal with it. Even though it's wrong. Uh, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's play. I didn't look at the controls, so I don't know what any of the buttons do, but, you know, that's a minor inconvenience at most. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, oh what, what happened? Is this good? Is this, like, is it supposed to be doing this? Okay, oh, okay. All right. I guess I should I should look at the controls, shouldn't I? Let's just see what they are. Okay, so we can jump. We can pause. We can look. Interact. Flashlight. Sprint is left trigger. Sneak is left bumper. And we can shoot a gun. Okay. All right. So, ah, you have a headache. Okay. We're in some kind of a 
creepy abandoned store. Look at that. More tubes. All right, flashlight on and off. I don't have a gun yet. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, I th thought I saw somebody. I got spooked already. Didn't do anything. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Do those look like person hands? Oh, yeah, they are. They're just, oh, okay, there's my body. Ooh, look at me. I'm like a military man. I thought at first maybe I had mannequin hands. Okay, I can interact with stuff. Okay. Upon hearing recent news of the... I've decided to end my own life rather than go through this hell. If you're reading this, then know that I've gone to jump. I don't want to live in a world like this, one I don't even know is real. I'm sorry, I don't know if you'll be able to read this, understand this. See you on the other side, I hope. Okay. All right. Seems like maybe some bad shit went down. Attention employees, as you know, work doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> While I appreciate your loyalty and desire to continue your jobs, I'm not sure it's in your best interest to keep coming back. I know some of you are coming because you have nothing left. That's okay. But know that is coming to set up here. Once that happens, we are under their direction. Okay. What do we got here? Ooh, I found some candy. What is that? Spirit orb? Oh. Spooky. It's like I'm doing some ghost hunting here. Or, yeah, yeah. It's creepy. Oh, the screen tearing. Did I turn V-Sync on? Vertical sync. Okay. No, we didn't. Good. Apply. Apply. Okay. Hopefully that'll help that. That was pretty, pretty gnarly. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, well, I always start by going up, and we don't go... That didn't really get us anywhere. I always kind of, you know, in my internal logic in my head is you can only go up so far. You can go down forever. So usually when I go into a, an unknown building in a game, I start by going upwards. All right. What have we here? Oh, hey, you're alive. Huh, I didn't know there was anyone upstairs. Press E on Wild Bill to continue. Okay. You must be a new toy. Uh-oh. Okay. I think this dude might be fucked up. Everything looks all weird now again. All black and white. I know things have been weird recently. Weird? Why does that look like it's spelled weird? But I know it's not. Uh, you haven't been acting like yourself. Is everything okay? It's like sometimes you can't even see me or see what a shithole the world is coming to. Okay. Uh, does this guy have anything else to say? Okay. Yep. What do we got here? A robot? Oh, more candy? I'll take that. Warm myself by this uh, barrel full of lava. What do we see outside? Ah! Whoa! Uh... Is that supposed to be happening? Why does it look like uh, an entirely different game out there? That's weird. This out here. Oh, I see the letter Q. This looks like some like like a fantasy game or something. Uh, do all the windows do that? No, see that one looks more like what you might expect. But yeah, this one looks like uh, you're going to go out and, you know dress up in a green tunic and smash some pots or something. Cut some grass and find some rupees. Let's see what happens when we go out here. Rubies? Rupees? Yeah, okay. Oh, I guess it's like a, it's a toy shop. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Now we're in like happy land. Look at that. This looks cool. Kind of got like a cell shaded look to it. 
Remember when cell shading was like all the rage? I kind of miss it sometimes. I suppose some games still do it, but nope. Now we're back to grim reality. What's this thing? I'm going to assume we're going to have to kill some of those robots. Can I... Did it say I could crouch? I, I think so, right? One of the buttons was crouch, wasn't it? Uh, turn left, interact, sneak, left control, or left bumper. Let me just... I was hitting left bumper and it wasn't doing anything. Let me just... Oh, yeah, that doesn't seem to do anything. So, I, uh, yeah, I don't think I can get there. At least not that way. Because I'm left control doesn't do anything either. So, all right. Well, maybe we'll figure something out. Maybe we get to, like, turn into a toy or something. And we can, like, crawl under there. Do not trust the rejected. Kill all rejected on site. Roger. Hi. <laughs> this guy looks friendly. Krong. We've had issues with some rejected attacks up here. One good conscious. On good conscious. I can't let you through. Okay. All right. Well, not going up there. Anything hidden? Can't get back there. It looks like a perfect place to hide something. Oh, man. Look at all these people. People everywhere. We look outside. Oh, that just goes into that room again. Are we like... are that The room, the scale of that room looks huge. Are we toys? Are we like little action figures brought to life? Is that kind of the deal here? Jake. You would think sitting in the most isolated corner of the room would imply that I don't want to be bothered. Okay, sorry. Damn, dude. The nerve of some people. Alright. Just trying to, like, be cool. Make friends. What about you? Itchy, he's all scratchy. Hey, hey, uh, you. Yeah, he's <laughs> grabbing his, his dongle. You got any candy? I do. If you find me five hits, I'll uh, tell you something special, okay? Excuse me. Brand new military medical aeronautics unit. I go down here. What's this say? No matter how many we've been killing, the rejected seem to keep finding some way back. We recommend new one goes to the second floor or higher, unless you have some sort of death wish. From Bevis. What kind of name is Bevis? Fred. Fred doesn't have much to say. Look at this dude. This guy's fucking having a good time. Yeah, buddy. I want what you're having. I uh, got this rejected pin down, right? He's an ugly bastard, right? Hell, maybe it was a she. But I swear, I swear, Fred, are you listening? I swear that thing tried to talk to me. I couldn't understand the monster. But uh, hey, here's the crazy part. It grabbed my junk. Reminded me of my wife in some fucked up way before. Okay, I didn't know where that story was going. I was going to be like, and then, then I had sex with it. Fuck that man. I snapped its neck and busted my ass back here. Don't know if I can handle going back down to the train station for a while. There's just too many. Too vicious. Sure, likely story. Expect us to believe that malarkey. Uh, look at this guy. I like that guy's mask. Uh, toy made that we here. I got a fair idea on how your your newer generation models process things. Okay. Don't worry, I won't say much that sets off that system in you. Wouldn't matter much if I did. The shopkeeper has been putting you new guys here more and more as of late, so I've run into a few of you. Fortunately, I won't be able to play with you. Uh, I see. I said too much. I can see it in your eyes. I have to wonder what reality must look and sound like to you. What kind of hellscape you must be in. All right, that's kind of interesting. Can't help you for some whispers I've heard. Maybe someone who could help you in Toy City, but good luck getting in there. I suggest you settle in and maybe stuck here for a while. Okay. 
We've been trapped here for a few weeks now, ever since the train station was overrun. I have family in Toy City. Love to see them again. It's even worth the risk of being seen by the shopkeeper. Well, maybe not. Okay. So I'm obviously not a person. Uh, all right, we'll wait to go out there. Let's see what this dude's all about. It's Bradley. What up, Brad? He used to run this place. I was the big shot. The king of the castle. Now these days I can barely remember time before they came. I bet you're one of those toy soldiers that used to keep us down. You don't even know what happened, do you? Just stay the fuck away from me, freak. I guess I do kind of look like a toy soldier. Let's see, anything special in here? What are you doing? Like those glasses. New toy soldier. That's what they call us. Anyways. Oh, so you're one of me. Yeah, I woke up here a week ago. Have you seen the shit outside? It's nuts. This table isn't the biggest. So I explored all over. I like to go to Toy City, but it's too dangerous. If you hang around, you'll see the shopkeeper come by. If you see him, just make yourself scarce. He likes to grab the most active of us and take them away. Not sure where to or why, but the locals seem to fear it. Anyways, I better get back to my stretches. <laughs> he is he's doing a lot of stretches, calisthenics, keeping keeping limber. Okay, so yeah, I do I'm getting the feeling that we are toys. Because he said table, like we're on a table. Exactly. So I told him, no, there ain't no rejected upstairs. Exactly. They told me no rejected corpses could be loved, but I seen how he looks at them. Can never love one of those creatures. They eat babies. But I be knowing a thing or two about women's. You can't keep the woman off me. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it, boy. Let's not be talking about that now. There's some guy watching us talk, and they call me crazy. Well, all right. All right. Looney bin. Okay, go that way. Oh. Let's see if we can get these five candies. We only need one more. Maybe it's up here. I can see stuff up there, but all right. All right, well, uh, I guess it's time to go. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's time to go outside. Oh, what's this guy? What do you got going on? It's so disgusting out here. I got too drunk yesterday, so my punishment is to sit around in this wasteland. I love the smell of the baking cookies the shop keeps always making. Don't know how you can stand to be out here. But it's lovely. Look at this wonderful world. Oh, candy bar. All right, now we can go talk to that guy. You found all five candies. I sure did. Go talk to this dude. Oh, I said I'd tell you a secret. That's right. The rejected are monsters. But that's just my belief. All right, he was trying to say something else. Things just don't add up. Might be all the candy, though. Helps me see the true fabric of reality. I left my body a few times. It'll change you. Okay, so... Maybe these rejected that they speak of are not all not all that bad after all. Didn't see what I'm trying to see if I can spot my family over there. Oh, is that Toy Town? Too dangerous to travel. The rejected would tear me apart down on the ground. I hope they're still okay. Um, I've always been a sucker for games where you play uh, like a shrunk down person. Um, I always like that. So, so I like this. I'm into this. Uh oh, what's this? What do you get? What do you got going on? What is happening with your face, um, sir? I don't mean to alarm you, but I believe that your head is a shiny potato. What do you? Damn shame what happened to Fidget. We were able to keep him hidden for so many years, but one day one of those objected got up here and started attacking, so Fidget came running out to protect us. The fucking shopkeeper was out and about, saw Fidget, grabbed him right up, made an example out of him the next day. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Fidget. All right, what are you doing? 
Oh, another new guy. I suppose you're trying to go to Toy City too. Unfortunately, we had to shut the lift down due to some issues. The rejected have overrun the train station down there. Fortunately for you, I'm inclined to help you out. We have limited food here, so if you go down and die, all the better for us. Or if you can find a way to clear the station out, we can also get food shipments in the city. Okay. Electrical controls that can turn the lift back on. Here's the key to the gate in there. There are two switches you'll need to hit. Just like out for the rejected. We had a few slip in before we were able to cut off the lift. They're here somewhere. Okay. So I don't just want to jump down there. All right, so now maybe I can get up to the second floor where I couldn't before. Yeah, but I want to go through. Oh, maybe by second floor, do they mean up here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, hey! How are you? Um, so, you know, what do, what do you, what do you guys like to do? Your, your body's all busted. All right, there's the other switch. I need to get over there. I hope those dudes don't try to get me. Oh, here we go. What's this say? More and more of them toy soldiers from the shopkeeper. Not sure what kind of fuggin game it's playing. Let's scoot them through. We've got a lot of first and second gens here, but if we let too many of them third gen waves of more pile up here, we may lose the balance. Keep this electrical panel locked and turned off so they can't come back up after we send them down. This place may be a uh, rrrr, but we at least have a bit of safety up here. Let's keep it that way. Okay. Can I do anything with this guy? If, let's see if our buddy here's got anything new to say. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, time to head back down. Head out to the elevator. <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Well, you did it. To be honest, this thing turned out to suddenly kind of scare the shit out of me. Hop on in and take it down. Just know that I'm going to deactivate it once you're down there. If you ain't dead and you manage to figure something out, make some signal. Find another way here and I'll get it back on. Just don't want those things making their way back up here. It's dark down there. A lot darker than it seems. Keep sharp. Good luck. Okay, let's go down. <sighs> oh, shit. All right. Place looks pretty fucked up. Best to sneak by, not wake it up, okay? Doesn't look like the train can be boarded from here. Better keep looking, huh? But look. 
something to read. All in on outbound travel has been restricted to essential emergency personnel. We do apologize for any inconvenience. All right. It's kind of freaky. Oh, shit. Yeah, that dude's alive. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just going to hide in here and... Oh, shit. You didn't get somewhere safe in time. Ah, but look, I can still, like, float around and... Look at that. I can live. All right. Restart. All right. So, let's see. Would somewhere safe be in here? I'm just going to see... I should explore a little more before I just go flipping power switches, I guess. Intake quarantine isolation procedures. The, what do they say? Infinite? Infinite? I think that's what it would say. Seem to have issues processing reality. Using this, we can usually identify those with the issue with ease. Now that we know what to look for, you should each have a set of questions that will have a hard time understanding. They will either blank out or give an answer that makes no sense. You will, and the paper cuts off. Okay. Hey, what do you, what's up, dude? Didn't expect to find anyone else down here. You must be new. Probably sent from the castle. I bet they want you to clear this place out. Yeah. Well, don't even bother. They know it can't be done. They just want to, you to get ripped apart by those things. The trains don't even run. Tracks are blocked by debris. Best bet is to get the power on so you can get in this bunker. Try to make it to the elevator to Ford Base 1. I'd help, but uh, I got business to take care of. All right, Dirk. Down here in the wasteland, our gear doesn't work so well. So if you see strange things, just ignore them. All right. Can do. All right, so I guess I got to put... Door seems to need power. Okay, so I turn the power on, and then I got to run. Run for the door. We can do that. This is kind of cool. Look at that thing. Right, where was that power switch? Oh, yeah, it's in here, huh? All right. I'm going to hit it. We're going to run. Run! Attention all personnel. The train to Troy City temporarily shut down and will reopen when the rejection are clear. What's up, guys? I repeat. The train to Troy City is temporarily shut down. Now I'm over here. Now I'm over here. Now I'm over here. Okay. Do not trust the rejected. I'm not planning on it. Please let everyone know that we simply can't get enough power cells to move forward with full bot staff. Use the bot helpers as long as possible. Once their power cells are out, just leave them. Ration out cells for the bots in the best condition. No, it's unfortunate, but this comes from high up. Okay. What's left of high up? Probably don't want to hit that again. Look at all these tapes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or books. I guess those are books, probably. What's he up to? Let's uh, see if we can open this door. Ooh. Locker room. Okay. Shipping officer, we regret to inform you that we are low on our inventories. We are sending what food, medical supplies, and robot components we can. Okay. I wonder what this does. Okay. Got that door open. What can we 
really do anything here. Poor robot. Looks like it's trying to get out. What do we see out here? Oh, a pile of books. I suggest we move operations inside the bunker. They came and put that in us, and we didn't even know. Don't you hate it when they put the blank in you and you don't even know? Who knows how many years, decades even, we were? they were with us, among us. Reports suggest they have been slowly collecting us, adding to their numbers, without us even knowing. Just too many of them to test, and with the release of the information of the public, global panic has caused many of our facilities to be overrun already. We don't have much time to move deeper in where it's safe before it's too late. Okay. Well, let's see. So, I need to get through there. I'm wondering if I hit that, is it gonna, is it gonna toggle? Let me just, let me just hit this quick. Oh, you can't. Okay, so that's on for good. All right. Well, I guess we could try. I'm guessing if I just hit that and run, I can. This will open. Oh, this just opens. Okay, good. But, oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I saw some fucked up stuff. It probably wasn't real. That train is made of wood. Alright, what do we got here? Emergency alert. Massive beings have been seen emerging from the oceans. They seem to be able to have an effect on the infected possibly even control over them. We are aware our your research station has begun retreat to the bunker. There's no longer time to filter the infected out. Bring in those verified to be clear. Shut the rest out. We're sorry there's no option. The station doesn't have long before you're in range of one of these monstrosities. It is too late for us. Save yourself. God bless you. The White House. You should have all received the national alert. We don't have much time. I used to double down on... I need us to double down on guards and bring in who we can. While we can. No doubt the public at the gates will sense something's going on. Keep them back at all costs. Get the bots we have left that we don't plan to recharge and set them into battle mode. Hard times. We have no options left. I'll just go down here and... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that train's going to get us anywhere. Another elevator. Maybe that will get us down to the bunker. What do we got here? Mm, well, let's see. Just going to see if this does anything here. I can hit that. Oh. I feel like I want to check these other areas before I end up going down anywhere. See if we can find any... Any secrets? Any goodies? Oh, hey! What up? You're here to trade. Wait, I don't recognize you. you. must be one of those toy soldiers. We don't want any trouble. Just leave us and our people alone. If you're here for the train like those that hasn't run in years, you can take the lift outside to the top. Just go. We don't want your kind down here, racist. You're lucky our bot has been reprogrammed and won't target you. Just leave. Go to Toy City or something. Just stay away from the facility. All right, rude. Nice barrel. So, Dr. Gears, as the head of research of this new phenomena, we would like for you to take over research station Alpha once it's complete. Initial reports are showing that a concerning percentage of the population is inflicted with something. The inflicted seem unable to understand that something is wrong with them. Reports show some are stuck in a delusional state of reality. Pandemic is new, but the government is concerned. This may lead to a global crisis. We want you to take over the char in charge of finding out what is happening. Hopefully, we can help stop this before it gets much further. Okay. All right. Well, we can't get in there. Shiny floors. 
Yeah, I can't get in there. Okay. All right, we'll go up the elevator. Oh, all right, we're back in Happy Town. Ah. Okay, maybe not all that much, yeah, all that happy. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's the guy. Ah, he's big. Uh, I don't like that. He's freaky. He reminds me of uh, Attack on Titan. Ah, he's coming over. No. Ah, I don't like him. He's going to stay in here. Well, yeah, just walk right into my house then. Well, I'm sorry, there's a giant dude walking around looking at me. High visibility air for the shopkeepers, people who don't stay too long. That or he just takes people who interest him or stay around too long, okay? Don't really care, you won't be around too long. I recommend trying to get to Toy City. It's easier to blend in, just stay away from the facility. A lot of people go in there and never come out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God, he's fucking creepy. Look at that face. Why is he so creepy? He likes me. Quit looking at me. What do you got to say? You're going to go parkouring on the old ruins. Be careful. We've had some people go missing recently. I'm waiting on a friend to come back. Saved up his life. Saving for a jump upgrade. Went to test them out. Oh. I, oh, shit. Yeah, look. I got a pretty good jump. Nope. I feel like... I should probably talk to some locals before I go exploring. Okay. Dr. Stitches upgrades. Oh, okay. All right. What else up, Dr. Stitches? My humble store. Are you the asshole who brought the attention of the shopkeeper? Well, probably. What do I need to do to get you out of here? You must know what I sell, else you wouldn't be in here. On second thought, maybe you don't. I would think that my fresh goods would delight you more. I'll explain. I'm a doctor of sorts, or for your kind, a toy fixer. If you can find parts, I can upgrade you. Unfortunately, I'm out of good parts. Find some pieces, and I can help. Super strength, extra high jumping, invisibility. It's all up to that hardware. What hardware you can get your hands on for a price. Okay. Find me four fresh pieces, and I'll install hardware on you. Look at that. Got some cheese. What else we got? Apples, potatoes, sack of flour. Hi. Um... Okay. <laughs> I wonder if he ever does anything. He's just kind of looking at me. Here, this looks like a fresh piece. You found a fresh piece. To whoever comes next, I feel like I shat my guts out. Well, I did just pick up your heart. I guess I love them. Stay away from Dr. Stitch's food. Oh, God, it hurts. It smells. Please, God, let in. <laughs> guy, uh, guy pooped out his heart. I can't get in there. Toy soldiers. No toy soldiers allowed. Okay. Can't get in the well. He doesn't seem to want to, like, try to hurt me or anything. Does this guy have any fresh parts? Okay. Oh, there's one. There's one over here. Oh, God. Ah, whoa. <laughs> that was weird. Look at that. Look at me go. I'm a jumping maniac. Oh, shit. All right. We're okay. wonder if I can get up there. Nope. I'm going to need an upgrade. That's, that's kind of neat. Is there anything down here? No. 
What's like what's, what's happening to your neck, dude? Uh hey. What are you up to? Oh, human, greetings. You are marginally below current allow threat levels. I am currently on an assigned mission, unable to help you with any desired task. Processing a higher priority objective to stay out of sight of target shopkeeper. You being here is drawing attention from the shopkeeper. Please leave. I risk destruction if I'm detected. Your presence increases that chance. Please walk away. Okay, all right, sorry. I didn't realize I was still talking to you. Art book. Well, okay, we're in a bunch of books. All right. Uh, that's kind of jarring, but that guy, he kind of looks like, um, who's that actor? He was in, it's like the bad guy in Justified. Oh, shit. Whoa, I almost died. Can I get up here yet? I just want to make sure there's nothing. Oh, yeah, I already went up there. Okay. All right. We can install super jumpy legs now. Found some hardware upgrade looks familiar. I installed this recently on another toy soldier. You found a good supply of fresh pieces. All right, getting some leg implants. They are all geared up. Okay. Look at whoa. Now we can jump. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the way it just looks at me. All right. So I'm going to assume that now we can get farther this way. Yeah, look at my robot legs. Cool. Whoa, I'm a super jumper. Wee! He looks like he's like proud of me. Look, Daddy, I can jump. I can jump high. Uh oh. Whoop. I'm a good jumper. Oh, oh god, you don't have don't have much air control. So far the platforming sections in these games have been maybe not the best. Uh, in any of the games I've played. <laughs> uh oh. Alright. Fell a really long way down and died. Alright, let's see. Oh shit. Uh, okay, we got to start all the way back here. Well, at least I know where they are now. No, I know what I'm doing. There he comes. Oh, yeah, shit. Need one more. Yeah, yeah, we got the one that got, got shat out. Yep. Got my super jumpy legs. And now we... So we're going to try to get up in there. Okay. Then if I could just cheat. Wee. Wee. It's kind of cool, uh, you know, mixing the two D, two D, and the three D. But uh, oh, so far, 
not not loving the platforming but hey look at that success oh shit all right where are we okay make my way up this box Now we're doing first person platforming. Which is always such a great fun thing. So rare that it's ever done well. Oh shit, what was that? Can I get in here? Is that where I'm eventually trying to get? Now we have to circle around. Ah, shit. God damn it. All right, all right, we can, we can do this. We did, uh, in the last stream, I did, I went through a fucking bogus first-person platforming hellscape in a game called Carthank uh, that I dislike heavily. So if I did that, we can do this. Gotta keep calm. Not like that. No, did I fall all the way back down? Oh, oh shit! I did. All right. Oh, man. Yeah, games. You shouldn't do this. It's just not ever done well enough to be much fun. At least in my experience. Yeah, fuck. There we go. Well, I feel like we have to go down here, right? Let's see what's going on in here. Day one, found a fairly safe perch in an old apartment. It gives me a good view of a nearby shanty town. The shopkeeper's usual walking path and the entrance to the facility seem to be a steady flow of toy soldiers coming through the town. One a day or so, they usually travel down to the ground level or else the shopkeeper takes them somewhere else if they stay too long. Twice it has eaten the soldier. Oh, oh uh, yikes. This is my last day out here before I return to base. A toy soldier has found jump implants somewhere. Looks like he may stumble upon a refugee bot. I'm going to confront him. Then I'll come back and return home to my wife and kids. Okay. I don't think he made it back because I think he was probably the, the thing that was getting eaten by that robot. All right. Hey, buddy. Whee! Down here. Oh shit. Oh no. That's no good. We don't want that to happen, right? Oh man. Bogus. Uh ooh. I'm all I'm way up here. Kind of Kind of freaking me out a little bit. All right. Uh, 9 16. All right. <sighs> Gotta go to bed at somewhat of a reasonable hour tonight. I've been staying up too late lately. So, and I was gonna get a bunch of extra sleep today, but then I didn't. I play games instead. All right. Let me just see. Oh, do I want to try to get up? Well, let's see. Can I get up on top of here? Maybe this is where I'm supposed to go? No. 
No, no. Ah, damn it. Well, hmm. Oh, I just need to take a big leap off to the right there. All right, well, hey. We're getting there. At least uh, I kind of got the uh, first person platforming sections down. These wood textures are quite beautiful. I wonder what kind of wood that is. Is it balsam? Cool. I'm great. I'm so good at jumping in games. Am I doing this, like, stupidly? Is there, like, a way easier way to do this? Oh, shit. Uh, maybe I shouldn't get try to get fancy. Just thinking, can I jump, like, right up? Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm not going to fuck around anymore. I'm just going to go. Just going to go the way I know works. Not going to try to get clever or cute. Just going to make it happen. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Oh, make sure we get over that. Now we go this way. And we're just going to take a big jump over the thing, flying towards freedom. Did I win? What's happening? Oh, here I go. Yay! I hope that guy doesn't decide to eat me. Uh, freaky. Hey, look, I'm way up here, buddy. <laughs> I'm taller than you are. Whee! All right, uh, let's just go down here. Okay, I wonder if this will. Uh, I wonder if this will save. Is it? Yeah. I'm, I'm imagining if I quit, I guess I could just uh, escape and alt tab out of it if I need to get going before before I beat this. Most of these games in these collections have been kind of bite-sized, like playthrough and one sitting things. But this one seems like it might be a bit longer than some of the other ones. Doors locked. Oh, I see a gun. Alright, what do we got here? You sent my wife after me. She didn't even recognize me. I had to kill her. I have nothing left. Okay. Oh, man. Oh. Now I got a gun. Okay. Alright. A gun is good. Oh, no. Look at that. Splat. No. Oh. Is he dead? Okay. Uh, you know, the shooting doesn't feel the best that I've ever uh, experienced, but... Oops. Shit. But you know, we're not we're not judging these games against uh, big full studio releases. These are, you know, small scale developers doing stuff, you know, quickly. Small teams, kind of proof of concept, different, you know, experiences. Uh, so you know, we're not 
I'm not going to be here like harshly judging the mechanics and graphics and all that stuff. I'm more here to just kind of, it's like, yeah, I think I mentioned this last, it's almost like reading a little horror anthology. Um, you know, some of the writing's good, some of it's okay. If you, you know, read a lot of anthologies of horror stories. Um, but almost always there's interesting ideas. And that's sort of been the same here. Or even if some of the games aren't the best, they're not the most, like, you know, done with the most finesse or graphical fidelity. At least they, they ha kind of have some interesting and different ideas. You know, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, they're everywhere. Shirtless weirdos. Dark. Yeah, so, uh, you know, of the games that we've played, uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy the freedom to explore weird ideas that you get in uh, in these, you know, kind of low-budget games. They really get to just try crazy shit. Like, it would be such a tough sell to make a big budget version of a game like this uh, with such a weird concept. So I'm glad this kind of thing exists, and I'm glad the tools exist. It's almost, you know, uh, it's like recording music or making movies or anything. As the tools get more and more accessible, it's just neat to see what the people, um, you know, what people can do now that these aren't locked behind the tools to make games like this aren't locked behind some huge paywall or uh even you know some massive like skill set that requires a ton of schooling to learn like they've just made the made the tools uh, and the you know the applications and everything and even the assets you can you know buy a lot of these assets from the unity store and stuff uh available to lots of people which means lots of weird games which is all I've ever wanted. Okay. Did I already I think I already came through here. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Let's get back down here. I'm thinking I have to go over this fence here. Let's see see any more of those fuckers. Oh, shit. He came out of here. Oh. I hope it turns out that, like, these, uh, these are just, like, normal people that I've been killing. I always like when games and movies and stuff do that. And the things he thought were monsters all along were actually just regular people. And he was the monster. Go up the staircase. Ah, oh, shit. All right. All right, going back down. <laughs> Nothing up there. Okay. Alright, that's where we came over. Let me just figure out my space here. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope, we're good there. This door is locked. 
Can't go anywhere there. Well, we must be able to go somewhere in there, right? Oh, wait. Here's... The... Oh, shit. Aha! Took him out. That's why the, my nickname's old Scott Pro Gamer Bibus. Because how good I am at shooting guys in games. Uh, uh, I want to pick that up, but the controls, without being inverted, I'm not able to aim with my usual precision. Uh, I'm known for my really great aiming, my ability to shoot enemies extremely well. Oh, I see you. Is he going to come up the stairs? Is he able to come upstairs? Ah! All right. Uh, is he big or is it just me? Yeah, I think I think that guy's bigger than the other ones. Okay, more stairs. Frozen robots. Lock doors. Okay. Go. See what's down here. I just broke the rule that I talked about earlier where I usually go up before I go down. But in this case, it seemed like down was the right thing to do. Oh, every rule is made to be broken. Especially rules you make for yourself. There's a little bit of life advice for your charge. Ah! I shot that guy in the dong. Ooh, look, an arch made out of filing cabinets. Damn it. They sure can sneak up on you. I guess I can... I'm supposed to be able to sneak too, but... Hope that wasn't somebody I have to talk to. Uh, still to this day, I remember <laughs> playing one of the Fallout games and I sniped a dude from really far away because I was scared he was an enemy and it turned out to be a quest giver. So I was never able to finish that quest line. That, that's a big robot in there. Can I? No. Okay. So I think I have to try to get out there. Yeah, I think it was Fallout New Vegas. There was like a bunch of vampires you could talk to and like become a vampire or something. And uh, I think I just saw them in the distance and it said vampire and I was like, oh, you, you know, see a vampire, you kill the vampire. And I just shot them all in the head. And I was like, oh. I think I was reading something later. And I was like, oh, you can... Oh, shit. Uh, you can totally become a vampire if you go hang out with those dudes. And I was like, oh, man, I fucked up. It's one of those times that I, like, probably reloaded and played, like, through three or four hours a game just to go back and undo that decision. Which, you know, I've done a lot of times in my life playing games. Not necessarily proud of that, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right, this time we'll go up. No, we won't. Okay. I think it uh, seems like they want us to go down. And who doesn't, if you know what I mean? If you're picking up what I'm putting down. All right. Medkit. Now we're in like a happy place. The RD280 is perfect for any home. Home repair, cooking, cleaning, minor medical programming. Here are all the different robot models. All right, what have we here? Uh, should I be scared of these robots? Uh, 
Um, there's scary things happening. Oh, shit. I should probably run away. Ah! Uh, caught you. You didn't stand a chance. Okay. So we're in a, uh... The old runaway... Run away from the unstoppable enemy scenario. Oh, yeah. Okay, he gets up. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. Shit. Get off me. Alright. Okay. Gonna die. Okay. So, I guess I gotta also kill those maniac dudes while I go. That's some challenging shit right here. Gotta run from the crazy robot and kill maniac dudes. I like that noise of boom. Is that noise ever not scary? Shit. Run! Ah, shit. Alright. So, looks like I have to... Kind of take the right path as well. Go left. Uh, that's not, it's probably not good. I'm gonna go this way, kill this guy. Ah, oh, shit, I fucked up. Damn it. Can I jump? Nope. Can I jump over? Can I jump over this guy? Nope. Okay. Well, I can do it. I just fucked up a little bit. I gotta go right at the end and then come back. All right, we got this. So we go left here. Kill that guy. Reload. Next one, kill this guy. Oh, shit. Fuck. I thought I got him. Then go here. Hit the button. Hit the button. Then go back. Get around here before that guy comes. Get through here. And hit the button to close the door. Look at that. There we go. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, good. We got lots of med kits. We got lots of ammo. Look at that. Stocking up. Uh-oh. Shit. Oh, shit. I don't suppose I can shoot that and make it explode, can I? Nope. Okay. All right. I hope I don't have to do the starting one again. No, I don't. Okay, that's good. But I do have to pick up all this fucking health and shit. That's annoying. All right, let's see. Oh, shit. All right. So we go hit this one. Then we'll go hit this one. We'll go in here. Or we'll hit this one. We'll hit this one. Ah, shit! Go! Ah, fuck. Alright, yeah, this is tricky. You know, maybe I'll play this with mouse and keyboard, actually, because I feel like... I feel like the precision needed might be, uh... might actually work better with mouse and keyboard than it was with the controller. Oh yeah, I shouldn't even open that one at all.
All right, well, this this run was fucked up, anyways. Okay. So yeah, I sh I shouldn't even go to that left door at all. I don't think there's any reason to be there. So we'll just go. We'll just go right. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm still going. Okay. All right. I think we made it. Go back to controller. I like that I can swap on the fly. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we can't go up. Hopefully I get more health soon. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe we won. Uh, maybe I don't have to run away from any more invincible robots. Uh, probably, probably do. Oh shit! Look at all this ammo. Yes, please. pick it all up. I mean, what? I'm not going to leave ammo just sitting on the fucking counter. All right. Let's see what we got out here. What is this? Hey. Hi. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. What do I do about that? Hmm. Interesting. I can pick up all this health and ammo. I guess I shouldn't. I guess I should try to figure out what I need to do before I waste all of my time picking up all this ammo. All right, so maybe, hmm, okay, interesting. I guess, yeah, ammo and health don't really seem to matter because I die as soon as that they grab me. Maybe I just have to get around them? Can't go back out the door. Leap! Oh, here we go. Leap! Leap! Okay. All right. So now I at least kind of have an idea what I'm supposed to do. And I'm going to guess that this dude can get me up here. No, he can't. Okay. That's good. So, all right. There. I should just take out all these guys. Okay. Hiya! Hiya!
go back over to this one. Do the old zigzag. No oh shit. No oh shit. Run. I did a bad jump. I did a bad jump. Okay. Fucking thing is stomping around. It's all loud. It's kind of scary. Run! Okay. Okay, all right, well, still going down. Let's see, is there anything else down here? All right, let's go back up and check out that room before we go down all the way. Get away from me, a fucking jeans wearing hobo. All right, something to read here. What do we got this? All right, Dr. Gears, we thank you for coming over to help us transition our factory specs. Most of the machines are designed to build bots to help around the house, but with your designs and funding, we should have a quick turnaround in making a more aggressive version. I have to say for the record, I am not a fan of making bots that can kill people. Never thought we would have a good enough reason to push that far. Mm. Am I a bot that can kill people? Hi, hey guys, Dr. Giz is pressing me for your research on mind-body transfers. It's being given, uh, really adamant that the full resources he is being given by the government, the transfer should be possible. I believe he is wanting to put soldiers' minds into machine bodies. Well, probably not a great idea. Uh, I heard that, I heard that guy grunting. Line our up our shot. Look at that. They call that skills. Ah! Like his little, that's his little bed. That's where that guy lives. What do we got here? Project is complete. I don't think it is a good idea, but it should theoretically be functional. If this works, you should live for decades more. Don't let that power go to your head. You know what life will be like by then. People may not accept you, but hey, if you don't die or go batshit crazy by then, actually survive this. Tell my great great grandkids hello. Okay. So he's trying to become immortal. That never works out. I forgot to inform you that I'm resigning from my position here. There are also a good many of the other factory workers that are coming with me. Those things, the one that came from the oceans, those aren't beasts. 
I've seen what they can do to people. I've seen the truth. They are gods. Hmm. Gods of the new world. They've taken my family and I've seen how happy they are. <laughs> nice. We won't fight you. Continue whatever it is you're doing here and at the research center, but we are going. We want to be taken to our better lives. That would be me. I'd totally be that person. I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. I'm just going with the elder gods. What's the point? How bad can it be, you know? I was trying to line up a sneaky shot on that guy and he fucking sprinted at me. Oh, shit. I go for, you know, shoot for center mass. That's what they taught me at the academy. Okay. Just a bunch of bathroom boys. Having fun in the potty. Ugh. I like the I like the tile work in this uh, creepy old abandoned bathroom. Is that a crushed plastic bottle? Oh, uh oh! Look at yep. Yeah, there we go. Gotta say, I called that one. Oh shit. Uh, all right. Well, we murdered a kid. Oh, sorry. I thought she was still an enemy. We done fucked up. So you did it then. You killed them all. Even her. It is over. Oh, this is Dr. Gears. They won after all. In the end, it is not your fault. Not really. Though if I could still move my body, I would kill you. You should never have come back. Do you remember? Do you understand what happened? Based on the confusion in your eyes, their brain implant is failing. We have jammers set up in here, but it looks like it was not enough. Too little, too late. You still do not seem to remember me from before they took you. Well, I despise this, but I can tell you your our history if you desire. Maybe it can jog your memories. If not, perhaps you can go out and find one of your sister resistances to help. If you can contain your bloodlust. To start, no one knows when the gods visited Earth or if they have been here the entire time. We also do not know when they started secretly abducting humans to implant the brain wires. Some believe it could have been as early as the Dark Ages, but none can be sure. Regardless of when it started, by the time humanity realized that what was happening and raised global awareness, it was too late. Billions were already taken, over half the global population. The worst part, the ones with the implant never knew. They did not see the same reality. They seemed aware of the wars, that something was wrong with the world, but they attributed it to race wars, government corruption. Some were not allowed to see anything at all, just living a peaceful life, going to work, stepping over bodies without even noticing. That's when the shopkeepers revealed themselves. They turned the infected population against us. While most would kill us on sight, seeing us as monsters, they allowed select groups of them to see reality. They unwittingly integrated in to our resistance groups, ready to be activated and kill us from the inside at any time, never even aware they were infected. Shopkeeper's plan worked. We had to stop taking in refugees without extensive, expensive, and time-consuming processing. All the while, those who waited were killed or taken. Slowly, the percentage of infected population grew, even as the global population died. Tides did begin to turn once the resistance began the robo-initiative. They converted massive factories to pump out retrofitted militarized models that were not susceptible to the shopkeepers meddling. Fortunately, this period was short-lived. Due to the global collapse of civilization, the resistance just didn't have the logistical ability to deliver the resources to the factories to build enough bots or the power to keep most of them charged. Most bots were told to work until they simply ran out of power where they stood. Shopkeepers were not idle either. Once the resistance developed the bots, they began to create their toy soldiers. They used them to attack the factories and the resistance. Over the last few hundred years, they have developed new generations of toy soldiers. Each generation seems more and more detached from reality. And here we are. Here you are. Both of us at the mercy of the shopkeepers. They could destroy the factories and the resistance at any time. Could have done it centuries ago, but they just don't. I believe this is just a game for them. A game they want to continue for as long as possible. 
We are just toys to them. I've been programmed and taught that we must not give up. While my story and this factory may end here, perhaps you can continue the fight. I can detect that your brain implant is no longer working. You must be a bug in the newest generation, or maybe they're just toying with you. Life will not be easy for you without your implant functioning. Any infected will see you as a rejected. Toy soldiers will hunt you. The switch next to me will call a spare train. Perhaps you can make it to Toy City. Just say my farewells to your sister as you pass her. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I went through the text again. All right. Uh, cool. We did it. So I guess we were killing good people the whole time. That was my sister. Oh, man. Sorry, sis. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, man. All right, that's kind of cool. You can go walk back through and see that all the people you killed were just regular people. That's kind of a neat idea. Yep. Sorry, sorry. Uh, whoopsie. My bad. Yeah, uh, sorry, buddy. All right, a train. All right. As the automated train departs with your hit with you hidden away, you begin to wonder what comes next. What will you find in Toy City? Will you will they see you as a toy soldier or a rejected? Was there anyone you used to know from before you were taken? As you ponder these thoughts, hardware deep inside your brain processes and relay the electrical signals to someone else. The shopkeeper smiles. This ancient god of the universe is pleased. Everything is right on track with its new favorite toy. To be continued. Okay. Oh, that was cool. It was kind of fun. Uh, yeah, cool. What is this? Oh yeah, I already listened to this. Okay, so this is where I can... Ah, okay, alright. I must have accidentally clicked on that before I started playing that last game. Okay, cool. Well, that was fun. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, she's ah, she's curling her fingers as we beat the games. So we've beaten two games, and I'm assuming once we get them all, she'll curl up her fingers and reveal that spooky fucking face. I can see it under there. Let's look around. What other what other games do we have waiting for us? We have can't read the title of that one. Oh, I guess I could click on it. To the end of days. Oh, uh, Scythe! Oh no, they did the <laughs> they did the Karthnak game uh, last time that I didn't like. But hey, doesn't mean that I won't like that game. What else do we have here? Charlotte's Exile. Okay, missing the last hope. Her embrace lies within an old note written in an ancient language. Okay, what do we have here? Touched by an outer god. I like the look of that. That looks cool. Oops, I keep hitting escape. Undiscovered. That looks cool too. Cursed tomb of kings lies hidden deep in the ancient jungle. That sounds right up my alley. Uh, what else do we have? Solipsis. Two astronauts search for geological features beneath the surface of the moon. They find one. All right, that sounds cool. Oh, that moon has a face. Oh, I don't like that. The thing in the lake. Oh, I like the look of that. 
something horrible is hiding in its murky depths. That also sounds like something I will enjoy. Another Late Night by Secret Cow Level. That I, um, I think the game by Secret Cow Level in the last collection I wasn't that big a fan of, but we'll see how this one is. The Diving Bell. Isolation takes its toll, and even the strongest of wills survive the crushing depths of the ocean. Nice. I love uh, ocean underwater exploration games. Arcade Letter A. Or is it Arcade Litra? Arcade Litra. Electronics in an arcade and video rental store begin to come to life in startling ways. Cool. All right. Well, we got a lot of fun games to look forward to, and uh, can't wait to play more. So it's uh, 10 o'clock. Time for me to go to bed. Um, thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you're watching this on the Twitch archive, hey, thanks for hanging out. Check out my channel when I'm streaming. Come hang out. Let's be buddies. Anyways, uh, thanks again. Have a good night, everybody. And hey, if uh, if you haven't already, tomorrow's the big day. Go vote. Uh, fuck Trump. Peace out.